Clean with a I mean, not steel wire brush. Right. right. Was it AL-822? Can you do it with map gas? Like, what would you recommend for a beginner? I would recommend it this. Okay. Because you may not have the other option. Right. Okay. But you can do it with map gas. Yes, you can. Okay. I'll show you how easy it is, really. The key to the torch the axi is so that you're gonna that's basically the frame you want to look at. Right? Okay. Smallest tip you have, gas the air as well. Okay. And when you heat, you can see the end of the flame is about here. That's where you're gonna be heating. Okay. You're not gonna bring it in here. Okay. It's a pretty far. And what you do is you heat the area that you want to repair. And you bring the rod in, and you touch the surface with the rod. So the key is, we want to get the surface to 900 degrees to melt this alloy. But we don't want to put it into the flame. Okay, so you see I'm testing. And then when it begins to flow right there, see what I do with the heat? I pull back it back it off a little bit. Okay, bring it back in. Like the control of the... Now, if it had, so obviously, if you have a hole like that, you're gonna probably have some oil. Right? You rec you gotta get the oil out. Yeah. So maybe it's on like bright cleaner or something like that. <laughs> Keep in mind though, whatever you put on there, it shouldn't be flammable. Okay. Because we hit it with the torch. Yeah. She chased him off. There are a lot of things off there. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, Calgon made yeah, two. Yeah, But they make two. I mean, it is fast. One that's fine. Okay. But that's an example. But if you use that and then you wipe it down. Yeah, as long as it's pretty dry. It's gotta be pretty good. And, you know, that's the thing. People think that the torch is burning the dirt off the surface. I can't even see it. Yeah. The surface has to be it's no matter what. Joining you. That just shows anything. Everything. Just a shot. And then, so which one did you use for fixing that hole? Which? Yeah, ALA-22. 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 I think you would need a smaller camera. So I gave you the one. Here's basically the chart. So you can use that to join aluminum or aluminum or aluminum or copper. Oh, interesting. Okay. So right, right, right. Well, well, this joint could be prepared as well. Oh, yeah. With the same alloy. Cool. You're going to have the difference is you're going to clean. You're going to apply the heat just like you did with the same high cholesterol. But you're going to heat the copper and let that heat transfer to the aluminum. And then touch the aluminum. Okay. What's your control? And again, with the stainless steel brush, no sand cloth or anything. Okay. Basically, the adjustment.